Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Corpse Party. Uh, you didn't miss anything. I just said I just decided to trigger the whole thing off screen. Yeah, like this is actually the first box of dialogue, so you haven't missed anything. So yeah, in the last episode, I think we put Naho soul to rest. Either that, or we damned her forever with the knowledge of that she killed her teacher before she died. So yeah, that's fun. Anyway, you serious? Well, there was no body, but Morishige was beyond saving at that point, I think. But why? I wish everyone would stop dying so easily! Class rep. Guess the only one left is Miss Yui, then. God, how can you be so matter-of-fact about it? Ah, uh, sorry. I think it goes without saying that none of our friends who die here would want us to would want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to that desire and keep moving forward. We know the way out, so even with and so even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui, and then we can finally escape this living hell. Sounds good. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nakashima, I have something of yours. Ah, my student ID! And this, too. Hand it over to the baby statue. Sorry I didn't get the ID back to you sooner. You must have been freaking out about it, if you knew the way out. Believe me, I was. Well then, don't go losing that scrap again, okay? Thank you very- thank you so much. You have no idea where, what a relief it is to have this back. Shinazaki, nice fi- nice, eh, nice job finding that. I can't even tell you how much of a load off our minds it is. No problem at all. Oh, check this out. I took another look at these pages after we had our little talk with Naho, and all the bloodstains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. Kibiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not a simple plane of spirits as I, pre as I previously surmised it to be. If we, and if, we, if we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I thought we'd be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I had detailed, but these child spirits are bound here in a very particular manner. manner. It won't be quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will be will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the in the planar 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 void back to the world we know. Using this technique before fulfilling the condition will be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean... Yeah, this planar void that separates Heavenly Host from the real world was created by Yuki and the others, and it's totally surrounding us. So if we did this reverse Sachiko charm thing right now, we wouldn't be able to get back. It wouldn't block our way. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other child spirits in order to get home. Okay, let's give it our best shot. We're almost there, right? Wait, what? What? What happened? Oh. I guess it's just... Okay, I guess that was just a transition or something. Um, hmm. I don't really think there's anything much to do here, is there? Let's see. Nope, but there's a switch. Should probably press that. Oh! Oh, that's good. this or 
Nope, I can't. Okay. Let's see. I think I need to be here, but... Oh, huh? Who the fuck? What the fuck? What was even... What the hell did we just see? He leaped from the roof of the building. I'm guessing that was the principle of, having, of Heavenly Host. Huh? What? Oh god! Yuka, don't look! Is it just... Yeah, I doubt he can ever find rest after what he did, so he's just reliving his death over and over again. That's horrible! Wait, what's that? Looks like a key. Yeah, but a key for what? I'm gonna go get it. Tone, it's too dangerous! I'll be alright. I'll wait for it, and, and I'll wait for my chance, then rush in and take it. Man, it's a lot smaller than it looked from back here. Is it is it to a desk or something? Obtain the principal's key. I alright. Uh hmm. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. Okay, but one of my friends did share a little bit of information with me, and that is I still have one more thing left to do in this building, as Satoshi, before I go onward. And that is, I need to get to the, uh, to the second floor East Hall. I think I'm already there, but... I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing, actually. Wait. That switch I found to access the bridge for Ayumi and, and um, Kishinuma. Hold up. I know it was somewhere... Uh, yep, there it is. I think this is it. Go up. To F East Hall! Alright. I don't know where exactly- oh, yep, here it is. This is what we needed the statues for. And that's all I know. Place this. And... place this. Naomi? It's here. The black mass that attacked me earlier. Oh dear. The sign says infirmary, but whatever's at the end of this hall is nothing like anywhere we've been before. My, my head. Big brother, it hurts. Mine too. Ah, you both got nosebleeds. You two stay here. I'll go alone. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you, are you sure you want to do that, Sunny Jim? What the? Is that a child's face and hands against the window? There's a posting attached to the door. Sachiko, cleaning up the reference room. Please wait in. Please wait here for here when I'm done, Mom. Sachiko. The door's open. 
Come on in. What? Ooh. Blood. Oh my god. It's mine. When did my nose start bleeding? I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long, but I get the feeling there's something I need to see. What do you say? Shall we go on the field trip together over summer vacation? Who? What's going on? I can't move a muscle. Have I been paralyzed? My dear Sachi, she is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. Oh dear. Diary? Whose diary? Is it the spirits? The book seems quite old, with yellow pages and frayed edges, but carefully linked... Carefully inked letters are still completely illegible. What? I seem to be dead. Oh. No, that can't be right. I can't forgive you. I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. How dare you harm Sachiko. How dare you harm me. This is bad. This is bad. So wait, what? So what was the point of that? Satoshi! Naomi, Yuka, stand up. We have to get out of this hall now. Big brother. Are you two all right? Uh-huh. I'm fine. I'm okay, too. The headache subsided, but it must have been in that hallway. What was that place, anyway? It was a nurse's office. There was a woman there with a broken neck, and just before I ran out, children started appearing all around her. Wait, really? I didn't see that. Ah, uh, Satoshi, is that? Yeah, it's the diary from the desk. I tried going through that earlier, but it was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. Is it that woman's? Without a doubt. I saw her writing in it. What? There's a name on the back. Yoshi Shinozaki. I'm not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet it's something important. Shall we take a look? I spoke at great length with the children again today. They're so full of life and growing up so fast. The younger students are quiet and respectful, too. It's clear their parents love and care for them very much and have taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devotion as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. We're meeting after school and going out to dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I got for her. Had to sort out some documents in the reference room well before meeting up with Sachi. I was working, the prin while I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up to me from behind. He grabbed me and forced me down, then began unbuttoning my bl- Oh. He'd always been so kind, lending his sympathetic ear to my problems, but today, he didn't even seem like the same man. His eyes were cold and empty. I was in such shock. I'm not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. I slipped away somehow, but he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs. Just as I turned the corner, I felt him push me. The floor came to me fast, and suddenly I found myself unable to move. I was, slump I was slumped across the ground unceremoniously, and I was dead. Buckets of blood spilled out from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels, embarrassing to say the least. Well, I was slipping away, but I pulled back. I'm, but I, but I was pulled back by the sound of a very dear voice. Sachiko saw everything. 
I guess she'd come to find me. The principal closed in on her. What was he planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop, but I was dead. I had no strength. Sachiko tried to run, and she had the stride, but she had the stride of a seven-year-old. He caught her easily, and then, before my eyes, he strangled the life out of her. What a cruel man. He rebuttoned my shirt, then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. He'll probably say my death was an accident and report her as missing. I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There's no resumption for what he's done. It's just as I suspected. According to the official report, I slipped and fell, and nothing's been said no, and nothing's been said about and but to anyone about Sachiko yet. The other teachers and students are all mourning me. They're so kind. I'm in mourning too. There's a stranger sitting in my chair, the new nurse, no doubt, but no one's come to see her. She must be very popular. I hate her. Little by little, I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit, I'm fading away. A dark will, not my own, has begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So she was Sachiko's mom. It's so awful. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait, though. Isn't anyone else bothered by the dates of these diary entries? Sachiko shouldn't even be there. The kidnappings and murders didn't play take place until 1973, remember? Oh, you're right. These are all dated a full 20 years earlier. But what does that mean? We kept reading, this post-mortem diary continued to chronicle the school nurse Yoshi Shinazaki's last moments and regrets, and detailed her agony. Bound to the side of her demise, Yoshi eventually exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pages with, sort with short passages like, I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. I want to see the children again. I will never forgive him for what he did. I will kill them all. Among other similarly mournful or angry sentiments. What the? I can't open past this page. Certain point, the, the diary's pages become so blood soaked that they were all sticking together and coagulated messes of floppy paper. Ew. Skipping past the bloodied section yielded very and yielded the very last few entries in the book, all of which were dated around twenty years later. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She'd even kill lots of people to keep me company. She sends me so many children. I, lo I love them all. I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachiko, please stop. His family is just as, qu and is just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse the entire line, forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. How did this happen? Sachiko, who died alongside me 20 years ago, has a flesh and blood body once more. She kills children and, and she kills children and sends their souls to me, but I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko, please, come see me. Talk with me. Sachiko killed six more, and when they die, it's like every trace of their existence is removed from history. It's spiriting away, the tr in, in the truest sense of the term. But she's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please, stop. Sachi is no longer killing for my sake. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I don't know when this change happened, but it did. Living beings are such fickle, easily angered creatures. They killed us, after all. I can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. I'll kill them all. 
I'll kill them for what they've done. I'll show them no mercy. Kill more. Kill more. Bring me more. Thanks to Sachi, I'm no longer alone. She sent me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't even think she recognizes me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. The school's been closed down. And the principal jumped off the roof. Serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children. Something fun and happy. What a pitiful way to die. Serves him right. Sachi's been wandering the halls. These empty halls. She kills anyone who enters. People who've heard rumors or are just curious. She and I are so desperately thirsty. But there's nothing we can do about it. After this, writing becomes too gentle to, to read. God. So Sachiko's been killing children and sending their souls to her mother so she wouldn't get lonely? And I guess eventually it just drove her mad. It seems like deep down even her mom wants her to stop. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we should do next, but, and, but, but we're going to get through to Sachiko. Then it looks like the, the school principal and the and, eh, looks like the school principal is the key. If I recall, the principal's office is in the other building. We will go there next time on Let's Play Corpse Party. I will see you guys then and take care.